Hi, welcome to another episode of Alita's Designs and Fresh Folds. Today I want to show you this quick um, Valentine's card, which is really cute with the little face on the heart here. Alright, um, I got these face stamps from Peachy Keen, really happy with them. Um, I ended up getting the PK490 Everyday Character Assortment, um, and they've got heaps of different sizes. Really easy, like you can just pull it out and grab your punches, go along and see which one you know would fit on that that size punch or whatever shape you're using um, see which face would suit that size best. I also got these two um, PK9493 Everyday Character Face Parts and they're different face parts that you put together similar to this one, this is the PK943 Sunshine Face Parts so if you haven't seen the Peachy Keen stamps Pop over to their website, I'll have a link there and have a look. Really fun little stamps. They really dress up your um, your plain punches to something special. And I want to thank um, Kim Score for putting me onto them. Alright, so I'm not going to show you this flower today, how to make that. You can pop over to um, Getting Crafty blog and see Christina's video. I'll have a link there for that, how to make these cool flowers. And there's a whippy snipper going next door, so every time I seem to do this, something something noisy starts. But anyway, we'll go ahead. So I'm just going to show you how to do this face and the leaves here. Okay, for the large heart that I'm going to put in the center of my flower, I'm using the one inch face. Okay, this smiley one right up the end. It's got all the um, measurements of the faces down the side, which make it easier to, um, to figure out with your punches. So I'm going to use that one today and you just simply peel it off and put it onto your acrylic block and it sticks really good all right so I'm just using basic black ink and I'm just going to stamp my face on like that and I'm going to punch it out with the heart just make sure you um, center it all right and what I'm going to do I'll just zoom up I'm just going to add some white gel to my eyes. I, th I found that came up heaps nicer, if you can see the difference there. Alright, so just go carefully and put some white gel in those spaces in the eyes. like that. Let that dry for a second. And then I'm going to just sponge around my pink card here in some cherry cobbler. I'll just zoom that back out otherwise I'll be going blurry all the time. Okay I'm just going to give my heart an outline. Just be careful you don't smudge that gel pen. Alright, and I'm going to pop that up then. I put foam either side of this. I found that that worked best with this folded flower. Put that in the center. And then I'm going to just give my red flower a good sponge as well. Thank you, Christina, for showing us how to make these folded sculpt flowers. Very pretty. Alright, now I've got a card base here made up to set up my flower on. And I've just cut a strip of green card. And to make this, uh, the leaves at the base of the flower here, really easy to do. Just put your heart punch in. Punch that out once. And just slide it down and um, that will give you a nice little leaf shape at the bottom. I've used a, a sponge here and I want to put some vein lines in it. So I'm just going to start at the point there and just drag my piercing tool down. And that's going to give me a centre line for my leaves. 
right and then one down the middle so that's the shape in then then that I've given the leaves and I'm just going to sponge that a little bit okay so let's put the flower onto the card I'm just going to put it at a, a little angle just to make it look fun and where's my glue okay so glue your stalk onto your leaf and then just pop that in there and glue that on like that and I've just cut a couple of pieces of card here I'm not sure how how um, big they are but um, I want to make a little banner okay we're just going to make the banner for the bottom and I'm just using my tag punch and I'm just slipping that in like that and cutting off a little wedge from it easy as that and I'm just going to then a little bit of glue there and stick that on like that and I did give my other one just a small curve I can't find my bone folder at the moment there's a lot of things on my desk but all I've done is just double it up double a um, piece of foam up sit that on there like that and then just curve it back the other way like that and I'm just going to put a couple of little diamantes on either end of that like that and then one on the face a smaller one I can get it off the plastic Oops. alright and that's my cute little peachy keen face card I think I'll be using these um, a little bit more and experimenting with them a little bit more I really like them Okay, I hope you enjoy and I'll catch you later. Bye.